All right. How are you guys doing tonight? Pretty well, thank you. Great, yes. Yeah. We're doing pretty good, thank you. Yeah. So can you guys tell me a bit more about your film? Uh, it's based on the life of um, a woman who turned out to be the first Latina adult star in Times Square in the 70s who had a very different take on that role, if you will. She uh, wasn't like a lot of the other colleagues of hers, and she kind of distinguished herself by um, being very confident in who she was, but not ever being victimized or treated in any kind of misogynistic way. And that was like a real different thing back then. Um, uh, it also uh, opens up this world of uh, uh, New York in the 70s, which I find very exciting. Very, very different world from what we know now. I guess I will see how everything evolves and how everything changes throughout time passes by. Can you tell me about each of your roles within this film? I was a theater actress as a supporting role, um, but um, it was very exciting. I had um, I had a pleasure to act with uh, some wonderful actors, with the leading actor on stage. Um, and it was, it was a great, a great uh, day of uh, acting work for me. I, I wrote the script and directed the film. I'm the music supervisor. Yeah. Very cool. So my favorite thing to ask right now is what, what song got you in the mood for tonight? What, what got you pumped up and ready to go for the red carpet? Or I guess green carpet. <laughs> uh, what song? Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably the song that the film opens with, which is... Uh, uh, well, I, I would say Shaka Khan's Tell Me Something Good. Would be would do it. Yeah, the same song, Shaka Khan. <laughs> it was this song. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> but you know, one thing that's really interesting about the soundtrack for this is that what this uh, woman was doing in the filmic world, which up until the horrifying AIDS epidemic. Um, the adult industry was really uh, paralleling itself with legit theater and with uh, legit filmmaking. And um, musicians at this time were, this was the nascent hip hop and rap era in New York. So there was a strong parallel between what music was doing and pushing that envelope and also what um, this woman and her colleagues were doing in the filmic world. So in in that sense, the music uh, and its soundtrack um, are really very more, much more relevant because they parallel the story in a more interesting way, I think, than just other soundtracks do. Amazing. Thank you guys so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.